basics. That was very basic. Key of B flat. I played the first part of number 45 of Pasquale Bona's Rhythmical Articulation. And I just got into the simple articulation, producing a sound that I had in my mind. I took a breath and I had the image of that sound and the direction of that sound. Very basic. At the same time, that's not necessarily the kind of exercise as a beginning exercise you'd give to someone who's just starting out. They'd have a different aspects of the basics. So if someone was going to just start out and they were going to pick up a trombone, guess what I'd have them do? I wouldn't fill them with all the correct ways to be able to play. No, that would kill their naturalness. So there's something with basics and natural that I want to have a part of this summer process. Basics are natural. At the same time, there's things that we have to learn and develop. And learning and developing and growing is natural. And so, if I was going to have someone pick up the horn and play for the first time, I'd say, look, put it up to your lips and do something. Let's see what comes out. Especially maybe they've heard a trombone or a brass instrument before. They might pick it up and go, oh. who knows what? And we'd look at it and go, oh, that's a sound. That's a sound. Okay, that's very basic. The trombone makes a sound. And then the more we get into it, we realize there's different kinds of sounds. There's different qualities of sound. And I'm going to ask all you more advanced students out there and professionals, seasoned professionals who might be listening. Do you give yourself that allowance to just make a sound? Well, right away, from the very beginning, do you have this sound in your mind and you're always pitching yourself towards that standard? I'm not putting a judgment on either one. But guess what? Sometimes, you just got to make a sound. And take it from there. And let things naturally develop. This is going back to the basics, even as a professional. So, obviously, the trombone makes a sound. Like a lot of instruments do. In fact, music is the art of sequenced sound based on rhythm, pitch, and timbre that is the connective body for an expression beyond sound. Or sound is just the vehicle for another kind of expression. Very basic. Everyone understands that. In kindergarten, they go, Everyone isn't trying to be perfect. And this is something I want removed out of basics. For now, let's take this word perfect out. Because perfect, basically, is the right thing at the right time. Whatever that is. And that's different for a lot of different people. Now let's start with a real basic. For all you teachers who might be interested in this video. Every one of your students, guess what? Here's something really basic. They're all different. They need an embouchure. They need air. They need a dental structure, part of the embouchure. Right? And they need an instrument. 
basics. People have some of the same things. We need some of the same ingredients to play, of course, but the way they'll go about it will be different. And this is the higher art of the teacher, is to be able to be in tune with some of these differences. Very, very important. Therefore, you yourself will cultivate a greater attitude. You'll cultivate a greater attitude of being able to accept the diversity, the natural basic diversity among people. So singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star shouldn't have to be made to be a big perfect production. This is the first wrongful introduction into how basics get messed up with an attitude of, oh, that's not good, I'm still hearing some clinkers in there. Ooh, we're making mistakes that's a little out of tune. Everyone's afraid of the judgment others will cast upon them. Let's get rid of this, some of this nonsense, shall we? And give ourselves the freedom to discover. I don't care if you're a professional and you're first who knows what and God knows what. Wonderful. Get some freedom. Pick up your horn and hear something basic for you. Take a middle B flat and go. And for all those who are just learning and can't hit a B flat yet, don't hit an F or find the note you can hit. Maybe it's a low B flat. so much about the quality. Just get into making a sound. Then the next level of the basics would be sound moves and sound has a direction. But this is later on after we've already been able to make several sounds. perfectionist, I'd say, oh, I nicked a note in that. I better make a cut in this video. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> because basically, I believe we have to allow ourselves a few more mistakes. We have to allow some of the human elements of belching. Now think about some of the human basics. Think how messed up people can get from toilet training. Think how messed up people can get from, you know, trying to have too much put on them too soon in a certain kind of way. This is what I don't want. I want things to naturally develop so we can have a gesture in our music making so we don't have to worry about saying goodbye that's a basic thing to teach someone to say goodbye right away. Well, that's ridiculous to think that they would have to say goodbye perfectly and to wave their hand perfectly or to say hello perfectly. Now, there are manners and there are standards. I'm talking about something else, a basic attitude of freedom. <laughs>